Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Cool Gadgets and I'm Scott. And today we'll be taking a sneak peek at the Steam 702 Pest Tech Kit that'll be launching their crowdfunding campaign later this month. We're about to see if this test kit passes with flying colors or if it needs to spend a little extra time in class. Let's get into it. So here we are with the Steam 702 Pet. Let's start by talking about the individual components. There's a test strip and then there's a boat. Inside of one of these, there's two of each. Let's take a look inside. So you have the boat and the test strip. And they have a neat set of instructions all here in the packaging, right? So you can just follow along with the pictures, and quite easy. Let's talk about what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to monitor your pet's blood, protein intake, that sort of stuff. Basically, it's a snapshot of how your pet is at any given moment. And the way you get the test kit to work is, once you take a sample from your pet, so you analyze it on your smartphone and it'll give you a printout of detailed charts and graphs about your pet's results. So you can track them across several days. So basically, the test strip gets the sample and the app analyzes it. Oh, and there's also this handy little extension rod. So you take off the sticker here and you attach this to the boat and then you can get your sample from a longer distance without getting all the, uh, you know, on your hand, right? So. That's pretty nice. So I've unboxed it and I've got my two samples here and I've read the instructions. Now, looking at this, there are two different ways you can get a test sample from your pet, right? So the direct one is you assemble it and you reach under your pet while they're doing their business. The other one is an indirect method where you have a puppy pad and they pee on it. So I'll show you just a demo. First, you have the boat, as I mentioned earlier, and the boat has this little plastic covering an adhesive here, right? So you remove that, now it's sticky. And on top of that, you're gonna put a test strip. So you open this, take your strip right here, not touching the colored parts. You're gonna see there's a little gap here. Yellow goes at the bottom and it's clearly marked bottom on the boat. Put it down, there's a little spot to press, a little spot to press, and then boom, you have it attached. Now, as I mentioned, the first option, you have your assembled boat and strip. Reach under the animal while the animal is doing their business, you receive it, and then you're gonna check it with your phone. You take a picture with your phone and then the phone analyzes it. All right, so now I'm gonna show you the indirect method, okay? Now let's say you don't wanna reach under your animal, right? For, you know, obviously sanitation reasons. Or, surprise, surprise, animals are unpredictable. So you don't know when they're gonna use the restroom, right? So let's assume you got a puppy pad. And let's also assume the animal has already used this space, right, and done their business. For obvious reasons, I didn't pee on it, you know, no animals have peed on it. You know, it's clean right now, but just imagine, okay? Work with me, okay? We're gonna open our test strip, not touching the colors, grab the spot with no color. We're gonna get a little sample off of the puppy pad, okay? And then we're gonna place it on the boat again. Press white on the top, and then just like the other one, you have your boat and strip combination, and then you're gonna scan it with your phone, and then the test results come out. Now it's time to really put this to the test. So first, we're gonna test with the negative sample, okay? This is the negative sample, which means it's not pee, okay? Just to be clear. But before that, I wanna walk you through the app, okay? So here, when you're ready to take your test of your sample, you go here to the bottom button. There's a button that says test, press that. And the next button is I understand. And then there's these cute little animations that show you the two different methods for taking a sample. So the first one, as mentioned, directly under the animal. And the second one, from the pad itself indirectly. Then you get to the bottom, I finished sampling. So before you press that, you need to sample, right? And I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna take my negative sample and then we're gonna put it all along in here, okay? So that's all wet. Now I go back to the app, I finished sampling. Okay, and the 60 second timer pops up. Now while the 60 second timer is running, what's happening is this, is absorbing the urine, okay? And then it's analyzing it on the test strip. And this is showing you videos on what, how you're supposed to take pictures for the uh, analysis that happens in your phone, okay? But I'll walk you through the steps for setting up for the picture. You go back to your packaging, which the item came from, and you're gonna hook up your boat here, and then your boat stands like this. We're gonna wait while it does its thing. Okay, one second. And now it goes automatically to the picture taking screen. Okay, nice, 
That's pretty good. That's what we expected from the negative, right? Good, checks out, okay. Now I've got another test boat and another test strip. And this time we're gonna test the positive sample, okay? Now we're gonna do it the same way, right? So take your test, sample, okay? And boom. Ooh, you can see the colors changing. Pretty cool, yeah? So you can see it working right away. Now we're gonna attach it here, tap it out a little bit, okay? We're gonna attach it again to the packaging and we're gonna wait for the full 60 seconds while it's analyzing, all right? Okay, now it's been 60 seconds, got the results. We're gonna take a picture. Okay. 57.5, so the last one, 97.5, this one, 57.5, exactly what we wanted to see, right? This one's messed up. This animal is in trouble, okay? The other animal, perfect. This one, not looking so hot. Let's go to the results and let's see, where are they struggling? See, you can see all these different metrics and it'll give you a great readout, okay? That's pretty nice and it's good to see that it works. Okay, so now we took our two tests. We have the negative and the positive, right? And we can see both of those side by side here in the output. So here's the healthy animal and here's our not so happy friend, okay? And what's really cool is if you go into each of these little pieces, you can see a chart that keeps track of it, right? So our animal looks really weird because our animal is super healthy one day and they're really bad the next day, right? But this is great. If you're tracking or you're concerned about one aspect of your animal, you can track it this way. It's really awesome. And you don't need to go to a vet to figure this out. This is really, really incredible. Now, obviously, these two samples that we just did are not from a real pet, so we don't have anything to be concerned about. But if your pet's samples came up like this, this is obviously something you would wanna keep a close eye on. And if your pet's situation got worse or if it just didn't improve, then that's when you would wanna consider getting professional advice from a real vet. So, What's the verdict? Well, we all know that vet trips are really expensive and having a cheap way like this to get a quick test and see how your pet is doing is very much welcome, right? It can reduce costs and it can also ease your worries about your own pet. It's something you could do right away and then you can find out the answer. It also helps you track individual metrics, right? So that when you go to the vet, you're more informed and you can tell the vet or show the vet what you've been doing. That's extremely useful, right? Not only is this extremely useful, the testing is also really simple and intuitive. And the only thing you really need is your phone and the included test kit in order to get a really high quality test. Now, some people may be a bit hesitant because of the urine sample, right? But this product does also come with an extension rod and a variety of sampling methods so that you can stay safely away from the fluids. So I would definitely recommend checking out Seam 702 Pet and supporting their campaign if you want to get your own handy test kit. All right, that's it for our review of the Sim 702 Pet. You can find a link to their crowdfunding page in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, I'm Scott, this is Cool Gadgets, signing off.